morning. It is Monday. We are in it. And I wanted to provide y'all with some Monday motivation. I know at times it gets hard and we feel like nobody understands what it's like to have those hard times. But I know one thing I started thinking about was no matter how many times things didn't go right for me, God didn't give up on me. There was always another idea that came to me. There was always another event. There was another opportunity. And sometimes people can think that they're the ones that are in charge of what is happening with you and they're in charge of where you're going in terms of success. But then they don't realize that a lot of times they just not are a part of your blessing, okay? So something can happen whether it's them flaking, whether it's um, them being not a good fit for you. Something winds up happening to where you're like, you know what? Don't even worry about it. I got this, all right? So I've learned that in life, can't nobody stop me. There's been plenty of times I've even given up on myself and I'm still here doing what I need to do. So if I have given up on myself and God has given me another chance, I'm not sitting here waiting for nobody. I'm not waiting for no human being to allow me or give me permission to be great, okay? I'm giving myself permission and I got God on my team. He's my biggest cheerleader. He's the coach. He's the captain. He's doing it for me. And that's all that I'm worried about. So I don't know who needs to hear this this morning, but God got you too. All those times you've given up on yourself, all those times you've waited for other people to give you permission to be great and it didn't work out, doesn't matter. They are not entitled to whatever God has for you. And that's okay. Because whatever God has for them, they'll find it. They don't have to hitch themselves onto your wagon. And sometimes people may feel like you're trying to hitch onto their wagon. And they're like, oh, no, no, no. That person doesn't deserve anything that I did because of my hard work. Don't let them block your blessings. Okay, whatever is for you is for you. And if you give up, the only thing you're doing is going to find something else that you're going to start on and wind up giving up on that too. Try to stick with one thing and make it work. We're the ones who feel like we know the line in the path on um, our journey. But we do not know, okay? And that's one thing I started realizing too. I start making plans and I plan things a certain way. Then when it doesn't go the way that I want, I get upset. But I realize that I'm getting upset, but... I don't know and it's okay to not know I'm gonna do what I do know and then the things that I don't know I'm gonna leave up to God that's part of insane faith okay I'm gonna do as much as I can so God can say you know what you've done all you can you're ready for this next path you're ready for this next chapter you're, you're ready to go but you can't have it where you can't accomplish minor things and then when it's time for you to get more, you can't handle that. God is not even going to allow you to get more. You're going to be bogged down. You're going to be depressed. You're going to be discouraged because you're going to find all the reasons and you're going to talk about all the ways that stuff didn't work out for you. But one thing you have to do is look in the mirror and see if you're a part of the reason why stuff is not working out for you. So today, I hope y'all stay motivated, stay encouraged, and really, really think about how God didn't give up on you. Really, really think about how he continues to give you things for you to be great. And it's up to you what you're doing with those things to be great. From the people that you're meeting, to the resources that you get, to the information that he's providing. Look at it as a positive thing on the path to success. Continue to trust the process and prepare for opportunity.